worst things playing with this kid. No parents should ever have to bury their kids, much less their grandkids, all in one swoop. A grieving Metro family is forced to plan a funeral for a 26 year old woman and her two year old daughter. Prosecutors accused the toddler's father of driving 94 miles an hour before crashing. As of tonight, that man faces two charges of first degree involuntary manslaughter. I'm Lauren Halifax and I'm John Holt new at 10 and only on Fox 4 tonight. The mother who lost her daughter and granddaughter shares her story with Malik Jackson. Virginia Perkins says the hardest thing to do is to have to explain to her five year old granddaughter that she'll never see her mother, Deja Perkins, or her little sister, Amora, again. Tonight, not only is this family grieving, they're trying to make sense of this sudden and heartbreaking tragedy. The hardest part of this is knowing that I can't pick up the phone and just call her. We all keep looking at the door waiting for her to walk up the stairs and greet everybody. To say the Perkins family feels a void is an understatement. They struggle to adequately describe the pain they are dealing with right now. All they are left with is memories and pictures that illustrate who these two beautiful young women were. Deja was always happy. <laughs> Deja was goofy and playful. She was like the most awesome mom you could ever think of. Her kids were her world. Perkins says Deja was all that plus kind, respectful, and loving. Her two-year-old granddaughter, Amora Joyous, never a moment without a smile on her face. She's a very happy baby, very smart, very outgoing, and she loved her sister. Saturday, Darius Tolson had Deja and Amora with him in the car. Court documents say he was going to pick up a relative. After stopping for a red light, prosecutors say Tolson began racing another car, reaching 94 miles per hour in a 40. I can just imagine what she was in that car feeling when that car was going so fast. I can just, I can hear her in my head right now telling him to stop, slow down. Before long, police say Tolson hit a Hyundai turning off the southbound ramp on Bannister Road. He and the two-year-old both ejected from the car. Tolson survived with only minor injuries. Deja and Amora both died. I just want to know why. Why would you do that? Why, knowing your baby was in the car? And even your girlfriend was in the car. Like, why would you endanger them like that? Amara's third birthday was next week. They had her birthday party planned for this weekend. They say they will still have that celebration to honor her life. Most importantly, this sudden loss has created an immense burden for this family. So if you were able to, you can click on this story at Fox 4 KC.